tonight, the suspect in that hospital stabbing spree is now behind bars. And his victims are recovering, thanks in part to two dentists who risked their lives to help the wounded. Our Rick Montanez live in Encino, where, Rick, you spoke to one of those dentists. Yeah, I talked with him just a short time ago this afternoon, but I also first want to explain that I talked with the medical director of the emergency room here at Encino Hospital just a short time ago. He told me that the two nurses who were stabbed yesterday are now out of the hospital. They were released last night, actually, and the doctor who was stabbed is still in the hospital. Their condition, though, has been upgraded from critical to fair, and it's worth pointing out that the emergency room here has reopened. It opened earlier this morning after a good cleaning and getting it certified to treat uh, patients again. We want to show you a photo here now of in, from inside the ER. This is just after the stabbing yesterday, a witness photo showing LAPD inside near the room where witnesses locked the suspect in before the hours long standoff started. That suspect now identified by LAPD as 35 year old Ashkan Amir Soleimani. Police arrested him after a tactical team forced him out of that room where he was for about four hours. Investigators say he showed up Friday afternoon at Encino Hospital emergency room seeking treatment, but turned on the staff and stabbed two nurses and an ER doctor. Just after the stabbing, two dentists from a nearby practice say they saw one of the injured victims outside, so they ran over to help them and then ran inside the ER. Dr. Param Sadat says he and his partner, Dr. Faraz Faranik, helped control the victim's bleeding. They also saw the suspect walk into a room, so they tried to keep him there until police arrived. Calmly walking, you know, he was walking. It's a small space in there, so he was just walking across into towards the room. Um, we shut the door on him. He didn't, like, resist or force his way out. He just stayed in there. There was a security guard and another nurse that helped hold the door. So late last night, paramedics took the suspect to another hospital for treatment for what LAPD says are self-inflicted wounds. Police say he has a criminal history and had a previous run-in with officers, including resisting arrest and assault on an officer. We did find one arrest on his record last year for a misdemeanor charge. And he is being held right now facing three charges of attempted murder. He's also being held on a $3 million bail. And as for the hospital here, well, the emergency room director, Dr. Jason Greenspan, says he's grateful that his staff and friends are recovering. He says he's worked with them for decades and that they are dedicated medical professionals. He's also singing the praises of the rest of his staff for coming in today, knowing what happened yesterday and still reopening the ER to treat patients who need it. Reporting live in Encino, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.